Hello, I'm Randy from Randy Cycle Service and Restoration. Uh, we're here to uh, do a little theory and operation of a charging system, a uh, standard charging system on a Honda CB900F. Uh, the 750, 650 and a few others use the same charging system as well, so this will apply to a lot of those. Uh, this particular one is off of a 1981 Honda CB900F. We're going to go through the theory of how that system operates right now. Uh, we're going to show the three main components of the alternator itself. The regulator rectifier I've left out of the system simply because there's not a good known test for it uh, other than its output at the battery or replacement with a known good unit. So we are going to assume that that's good or we're assuming that that has been replaced. In this case, we know we have a good working rectifier and regulator. Now we're down to the components here. First component is the brush holder and the two brushes which contact the slip rings on the rotor. Uh, these need to be inspected to make sure that they have a scribed line which may or may not be able to be seen in this video. Uh, as long as that scribed line is above the holder, we know that these brushes are good. We can also test them by checking the continuity through them as well, which I will show you how to do in the next video. So those are first component. They actually supply the power to the rotor itself. The rotor itself has two slip rings, one here and one here, which the two brushes contact that I showed you a moment ago. Those supply power to this, which in, a, in essence is just a big electromagnet with windings inside of here. When that's energized with 12 volts from the rectifier regulator, when it sends a signal down here, it magnetizes this. This spinning inside of the stator, which we see over here, creates a magnetic field, which spins inside there and generates an AC current of about 16 volts. Um, that is actually sent from this stator through these three yellow wires up to the regulator rectifier which then converts it back to DC voltage in turn charging the battery at a reg, uh, regulated amount being somewhere between 13 and a half to 15 and a half volts depending on RPM so that's the uh, basic setup of how this charging system works next we'll go through testing 